Hey guys, how are we doing? Welcome to a news update here on Buzzing Pattaya. And uh, what a week ahead we have, and what a week we've just had. I've got to say that it's uh, still continuing out there with the heat, although the good news is we have had three uh, big rain downpours, which has helped ease the suffering a little bit, and uh, probably caught a few guys short as well, because it, when it rains here, man, doesn't it rain? Uh, but anyway, so yeah, so last week was all good. Uh, busy doing our stuff and making videos and everything else, and uh, had a few meetups, which was great. Uh, but this week, this week uh, ahead, lots of things going on. Some interesting news, I've got to say. Sadly, one very, uh, very sad news as well, which I'll talk about uh, going about on jet skis. So, uh, yeah, we've got uh, some stuff to chat about today. And uh, as you can see, my studio behind me is gradually, surely falling apart and things are just falling off the wall. So I give up now. I'm not going to do anything with it until such times we know what we're doing, uh, if we are going to be looking at a new dedicated buzzing bar, in which case the studio will be in there. All right, so what's been going on? Well, they've released a, a new article. It says Central Pattaya launches 190 baht express bus service between three Pattaya and Bangkok shopping malls. Uh, it goes on to say Central Pattaya in, Pattaya in partnership with Kluk uh, is launching a new bus route that will operate between three major malls, Central World, Central Pattaya and Central Village for only 190 baht. And... I'm not really sure about this concept, if I'm being honest. I can't imagine the, the concept of sitting in a bus for, say, an hour and a half to get into Bangkok, to then go shopping, to then travel back for another hour and a half. Kind of like defeats the object. Surely, if you're going to do that, wouldn't you just get on a bus, go to Bangkok, find a hotel, stay there, um, and then do your shopping and go out for the evening and make an event of it rather than popping up and back? I mean, obviously, it's great news for the Thai girls because they can convince their newfound Tilak, darling, can we go up to the mall, please? Can you spend all your money on me? Um, but yes, it's an interesting concept. And I don't know whether that's geared more towards people that are here and that are doing these package tours where they do this, this day, that, that day. Maybe they're going to start looking at maybe specialising it with perhaps Chinese market. I'm not really sure what, what the, the angle on this one is, to be fair, but it's, uh, it's something they've done. 190 baht, if you go on the normal bus, I think it's about 125 baht, I think 124 baht, something like that. I haven't been on the bus for, for a long, long time up to Bangkok. Um, but yeah, so it's an interesting concept. I'm not sure that it's actually going to work, but at least they're trying something and maybe you know, funneling people into these shopping malls. We've got some great shopping malls here. You, know, you go to Terminal 21, it's a fantastic festival place, very, very good. The Avenue Mall is a little bit uh, lacking, if I'm being honest, in my own opinion. Uh, you've got uh, Royal Garden Plaza in you know, another good area there. Of course, you've got, still got the Mike Mall. If you like your shirts, go down to Mike Mall, uh, down by the beach end, and uh, get yourself haggling, guys. There's lots of shirts there. You can get five for a thousand baht with a real, believe it or not, designer logo. Now, if you believe that, believe anything. Uh, right now, on a much more sombre note, much more sad note, um, I always talk to you guys, I say about jet skis and stuff like that. Uh, but very, very sadly, there was a serious accident that happened this week. And uh, in the news, it says an eight-year-old kid seriously injured. Uh, a jet ski rider drowns after two jet skis collided in the sea. Uh, now, this event happened in the evening, which is slightly concerning. because I'm not quite sure why you would be. I mean, obviously, the waters are a lot still. They're a lot stiller. Um, but what happened was, uh, there, was there was a man and a, an eight-year-old kid on one jet ski, and they got uh, collided into by uh, uh, another person. And I'll talk to you about that in a second. But sadly, the, uh, the kid had a life jacket on, so he survived, even though he was in a very desperately bad way. But the actual rider didn't have his life jacket on, and the impact caused him to become unconscious and sadly drowned and, and sunk into the sea and was recovered later on. Uh, it says here, Patea police later told the Patea News that the other jet ski rider involved in the accident was a foreigner reportedly of an Indian nationality. He fled the beach after the accident and remains at large as of the press time. You know, I mean, surely you should hang around. You can't just do a runner with stuff like that. You know, you've, even if it means you're in a world of trouble, you know, the, you, could, you could have potentially, maybe, possibly, uh, you know, saved the guy from drowning and certainly helped the kid. But, you know, it goes back to what I'm saying about these jet skis. You know, please, please be really, really careful about these because as you've just you know, heard from me here, um, you know, these accidents happen and it really is quite a dangerous situation. I'm not really sure what the logic about being out in the evening, but that's what happens. So hopefully they'll find this guy, whoever did it, and uh, he'll be held accountable. And then obviously uh, things will go from there. Now, this one's got a bit of a twist, if I, if I be honest with you. It says here, a decent Pattaya motorcycle taxi rider 
returns 13,000 baht to American tourist. You know, which is very, very kind. Uh, to be fair, you know, that is very kind. I'm not going to say any more than that, but you know what I'm saying. Um, it says, an honest Pattaya motorcycle rider, Mr. Nonglak Prakbosap, a 46-year-old, returned a foreign, a forgotten wallet with cash worth 13,700 baht and 16 US dollars to an American tourist at 4 a.m. in the morning on April the 26th. But here's the thing, right? Here's the thing. And that's really, really kind of her. Really, really kind. Of, but there's a twist to this. And it just goes to show, doesn't it? Because it later on says, she said she had driven an intoxicated foreign tourist to his hotel in South Pattaya from this spot earlier in the evening and believed that it belonged to him after seeing his picture in the wallet. She also mentioned that the man claimed he didn't have any money when he was dropped off, but she willingly let him go without payment. I mean, you know, so he's knocked her for the fair and said, oh, I can't pay. And then she's got his wallet and give it back to him. I mean, do you know what I mean? How, how cool is that? So, you know, be very careful, guys. Again, you know, I'm not teaching a sucker because I'm not trying to be your dad or anything like that. But what I'm saying to you, you know, when you are leathered and you're on these motorbike taxis, please just get a car. And the reason I say that is for this reason. If you are drunk and you happen to take a motorbike taxi and you fall off because you're drunk or you... You can't hold on or whatever, or maybe the motorcycle breaks a little bit quicker than you're anticipating, and maybe you lose your balance and you fall off. Any damage, trust me, any damage you do to that motorbike or to the driver of the motorbike, you are in a world of, you really are. And uh, you know it will be very, very costly. Whereas if you get a car, at the end of the day, even if you fell asleep, you've told the driver when you want to, where you need to go to, and he will happily wake you up when you get there and say, Mr. Mr. Come on, this is your home, pay the bill and, and, and go. Please stay off these motorbike taxis. You know, it's very, very dangerous. He was very, very lucky. You know, obviously she's returned his money to him and everything, and I'm sure there's probably cards in there and, uh, you know, credit cards, ID cards, all those kind of things, which would have been a world of trouble when he wakes up, wakes up in the following morning and thinks, damn, I've lost all my stuff. So, but she was very, very nice to him and uh, you know, helped him on that. Now, on the subject of alcohol, guys, remember, please write these dates down, particularly if you're here, because it is going to affect you. Alcohol sales and distribution will be forbidden from 6 p.m. on May the 6th until 6 p.m. on May the 7th. And again, 6 p.m. on May the 13th until 6 p.m. on May the 14th. Uh, the ban applies to everyone living in the country and violating it can result in a prison sentence of six months or a fine uh, of up to 10,000 baht or potentially both. And that's just because right now we're going through the, uh, the voting, uh, the voting and the election days. So obviously they don't want people drinking and making decisions perhaps they wouldn't made if they were sober. So there is absolutely a zero alcohol uh, ban on those days that I've just mentioned. You know, yes, you can drink at home, you know, go home, you can drink there, it's fine, buy your alcohol before. Um, but uh, if you go out, the bars, you know, most of the bars will be closing. They can't sell alcohol, it's just not worth the risk. Uh, so be in mind on that one, guys. It might be worth you finding a, uh, a friend to accommodate you for the, for the two days that we're talking about and uh, just stay in your, in your condo or your hotel or wherever you are and uh, enjoy your alcohol safely behind your door. So what's going on? Uh, there's a lot happening this week. One of, one of the things that's happening this month, should I say, is the Bun Bun Fai Rocket Festival. And I've never been to it. I've seen lots of videos of it, but I've never actually been. But it's held up in the north of Thailand. And basically the rocket festival is they ping rockets, homemade rockets, uh, up, into, up into the air, and they pray that it will bring them good luck and plenty of rain. Obviously, we're not a million miles away now from the rainy season. And this is to help them with their crops, because obviously they've been nurturing their crops all year. Now they need the rainy season to get the best out of them. So they fire these rockets, massive rockets, uh, up into the sky on the understanding that hopefully the rain god will look down on them and say, thank you very much for that. I will deliver the rain accordingly. So uh, I don't know if you've ever been. If you've ever been to these, you know, please drop your comment below. I really should do these kind of things. And it's quite annoying because I'm running out of time. Uh, I am going off to Konken very soon, and I will do to Konken. I may even go over to Yasathon because that's where it is. Uh, it's mainly up in like the Galician area, the northern regions of Thailand. But I might nip across if I can uh, and have a look at that. And then I'm going to go to probably Buriram, and then I'm going to come back to, Gal uh, to uh, Konken. Not Konken, God. Uh, I'm going to go to Korat, and then I'm going to come back to, to uh, the city. So, yeah, if you are into your rocket stuff, your rocket propels, uh, that's the festival you want to be looking at. 
Now, right on our doorstep, uh, today, if, you, if you're looking to have a bit of exercise, you want to have a run around, uh, head up to Planet Football. Planet Football is up on Soy Sam Country Road, uh, it's where they have an expats football league. It starts on 7pm of an evening. Uh, I'm sure if you go up there, even if you don't have a team, there are teams there that will welcome players, particularly if you're good. So, uh, you know, go up there if you want to have a run around. It's a really nice venue. It's a really good setup. And it's definitely somewhere where you'll network and meet other like-minded players as well as expats. So if it's, if it's something you're into on your football, pop up there and uh, go and see them. As I say, it's on tonight, 7 o'clock in the evening, uh, up at Soy Siam Country. And if you go to Planet Football, you pop it into Bolt, take you there door-to-door -door all day long. On Friday this week, Friday, there's not a lot of actual uh, parties and stuff going on at the moment, to be honest with you. But on Friday, uh, we've got obviously our cosplay uh, party down, our themed event down in Shooters in Soy 7. I was in there this weekend. It was great fun. Uh, lots and lots of girls. Good atmosphere. Pool table. Go and take on Jar. Go and play Jar at pool. She's all right. She's decent. She's all right. She's good. She can definitely hold her own. And if you're not too good on the uh, table, She'll more than likely beat you, but go and have a look, guys, and get yourself into Shooters on Friday. Uh, cosplay starts at 7 o'clock. They open at 7 o'clock right the way through until the early hours of the morning. Uh, as always, we can't have a, a news announcement without a party being down in Soy 6. Uh, we got Beam's birthday party at the Roxy Bar. Uh, that's at the Roxy Bar on Soy 6. Starts at 3 o'clock in the afternoon. Get yourself down there, get amongst it, go and have a good fun. You know, the birthday parties, I know we repeat it week after week after week, but in all fairness, they are good fun. Most of these places will lay on some food and all that kind of stuff. But yeah, go down there and enjoy it. Uh, and on the 6th of May at the Foxy Bar, it's May's birthday in May. How cool is that? Imagine if you was born in December. What's your name? December. <laughs> anyway, May, uh, it's her birthday. Um, starts on the 7th of May at 3 o'clock in the afternoon. Again, it's down at Soy 6 at the Foxy Bar. Jump down there, guys. Go and be part of the fun. Uh, I'm sure you'll have a lot of enjoyment down there doing that. And lastly, on Sunday this week, if you're into your BMX, now, not me personally, I might see if I can get down and have a look at it, see what they do, but they're doing a uh, Heat Wave Patea BMX Jam, meaning that these guys are going to be doing all kinds of tricks and stunts and all that kind of stuff. Uh, so if nothing else, it's something to watch. Uh, you know, remember, if you remember the old bikes, what was your first ever bike? Mine was a Grifter. Remember the Grifters back in the year? The Tomahawk, the Grifter, and there was another one. What was the other one? Um, oh, anyway, but yeah, I used to have a Grifter, but I was never into all this uh, BMXing and doing all that flash stuff. The only thing we used to do as kids was see how far you could do a wheelie. How long could you keep your wheelie up for? I think I'd probably last... Um, I think my best was probably about 15, 20 metres. It wasn't of any great to deal whatsoever. But yeah, go down to the Bally High Pier. Uh, the Bally High Pier, around that area, go to the, uh, and have a, look, have, a, have a look around, see what you see. And uh, yeah, go see if these guys can dazzle you. Now, food shout outs. Um, talking about Bally High Pier, the Patea Beer Garden. Um, it's one of these places, it's an iconic name, named place here in the city. If you've never been here before, pop down. Pop down to the Patea Beer Garden. Uh, it's literally just before the very start of Walking Street along Beach Road. On the right-hand side, there's a small beer bar complex. Go through the beer bar complex to the very end, and that is where the Patea Beer Garden is. Um, it's good. They've got some good food. It's a nice area. Uh, back in the day, we used to have, remember the red and the green coasters? I'm not sure if they're still working now. I don't know. We used to have a lot of freelancers. But I'm told, rightly or wrongly, I'm not told that that's kind of like fizzled out. I'm not sure. Truthfully, I haven't been. If you've been there in a, in a while, please let me know about the freelancers because I go when I have my lunch. I like my lunch in there. I don't go there of an evening uh, when the freelancers are there. But obviously in the daytime, you know, go down there. They've got a good menu, good selection of food, very reasonable prices, great views. You can see all the way along the beach line. Um, but yeah, pop in there. And like I say, in the evenings, I'm not 100% sure if the girls are still doing the, uh, the coasters, uh, but go there and have a look. And if they are doing the coasters, you've got the red and green, go check it out. Green means I'm looking, red means I'm okay. Uh, now, steakhouses, steakhouses. This guy, uh, Sanghak, his name, I've, I've known him ooh, three or four years now. Really, really lovely guy. Uh, Steak & Co on Soy Lenki. If you go up, go up Soy Lenki from Soy Bacal, go past the uh, Hunger Pangs and, uh, and Kungs, Keep walking, it's on your left-hand side. They do a fantastic selection of steaks, very, very good food, very good quality, uh, but they also do an exceptionally good, uh, just pass that, an exceptionally good uh, Chinese food as well. So if you're looking for that, go down there. Uh, but yeah, basically, go and have your steak. They've got amazing steaks, really, really good. We've got a lot of steakhouses here. 
A lot of steakhouses here, but this is very, very good quality and definitely one that you want to put on your radar. Lastly, the reason I'm fat is because I like eating pies. And if you know where this place is, uh, then you'll be very happy. If you don't know, it's well worth checking out. It's called Nung's Pies. And basically, it's on the east side of Patea, the dark side as we call it. Uh, it's along Soy Cow Tolo, uh, not Cow Tolo, sorry, Soy Cow Noi. Um, it's just down a little soy, and uh, it's actually, let me find the, it's uh, Soy 13. Go down there, they do an incredible range of, of pasties, of uh, sl slices, of pies. Very, very good quality, really, really, really good. Um, extremely good prices. And these are the sort of things that if you've got, like, you're, you know, staying in your hotel room, you've got a small fridge, go up there, buy yourself two or three pies, stick them in the fridge, and uh, good to go whenever you get hungry. But Nung's pies are really good. One of my favorite places, and uh, hence why I'm so cuddly. All right, that's it for me today. Uh, like I say, seems to be a little bit of a lull at the moment. I know we're going into the, uh, into the quiet period of, of uh, the tourism now. I know... You know, we've had what we consider to be the high season, the actual period, uh, not necessarily the amount of people that come over, but we're now going to sort of drift into the low season. Going to be tough times out there, guys. Uh, I'm not going to lie, it's going to be very, very tough times. And uh, I'm not quite sure as to... Uh, as to the out... Oh, me, me, me computer's just gone off. Uh, as to the outcome, simply because I know there's a lot of bars here that are really living life on the, on the edge and uh, they're just hoping and praying that they can get through these next few months. So fingers crossed they can. I don't want to see anybody go out of business. You know, it's been a really tough few years and hopefully, you know, we'll start to move towards getting a recovery going and, you know, you guys will come back out here. All right, there we are. That's it for me, guys. Thank you very much for watching. As always, please remember, hit the subscribe button and also the bell icon. If you'd like to be notified when I bring out a new video, have a look on our, on our new members uh, website, buzzingpatea.com. There's a menu on the left-hand side, the last icon, click on there and have a look at what we can share there that we can't share on here. And uh, jump on Discord, guys. Over 10,000 members in there now. It really is a great platform, totally free of charge, and a great opportunity for you to network amongst yourselves and find out information like we're sharing today. All right, that's it for me, guys. Thank you very much indeed for watching, and please, as always, wherever you are in the world, stay safe. Yeah.